In this video, we're going to discuss some important changes that have occurred to the UCAT this year. So this year, the UCAT have announced some important changes to how they're going to do the exam. Funnily enough, there's actually nothing about this on the UCAT website itself. So you can consider this an exclusive by Future Doc. Future Doc exclusive. Firstly, the dates for the UCAT have been announced this year. So it will run from the 11th of July to the 29th of September. So a longer running window than usual. However, the first major change is in the abstract reasoning. That is in the number of questions, which has gone down from 55 to 50. So as you may know from my UCAT course, the abstract reasoning questions are grouped into sets and they are normally in sets of five. So that means that essentially what they've done is just taken one set off. And actually they've also taken a minute off the abstract reasoning. So if you want to learn how to be really fast and kind of keep up with the timings, I recommend that you check out this playlist here where I go through the abstract reasoning and all the best methods to speed up and be accurate with the questions here. The second change comes in the quantitative reasoning. Now, all they've done here, they've not changed any questions at all, but they've just added that one minute that they've taken away from the abstract reasoning to the quantitative reasoning. And that simply means that you have the same number of questions as last year, except for you just have one more minute to complete them. If you want to know a bit more about the quantitative reasoning, I have a playlist for that as well, which you can check out here. And it tells you all the details of how many questions, how they work, and again, the best techniques to answer them speedily and accurately. Those are the two most important things you need to consider for the UCAT. And finally, the last change is that of the situational judgment test or the SJT as it's known. They have decreased the number of questions in the SJT this year from 69 to 66. However, the time limit remains the same at 26 minutes, which means that you can actually take that tiny little bit longer to mull over the ethical and kind of what would Jesus do questions that come up in the SJT. And surprise, surprise, we have a playlist for the SJT here as well. Actually, that's taken from my online course. And a few students emailed me last year that the night before taking the SJT, they went through my SJT module of my UCAT course. And they said that that was the difference between them getting a band two and a band one. So well worth checking out that course as well. Lately, I've been getting a lot of messages from students asking how they can adapt to this new UCAT test. So I've made this video here where I show how you can maximize your performance, how you can prepare well and get the score score required to get into some of the high ranking medical schools. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over in that video.